Hello everybody, it's me, Buster Boss, and I'm back here again today to show you a new version of Star Crazy. Uh, this one is as close as I can get to the OG Star Crazy for now, and it is very close to how it used to be. Of course, it's not perfect, and there are things I can still change about it. But it is pretty accurate, and I'm liking it a Keep lot. Up the good work. So I'll be back in just a second to show you the build. So I don't know why, but there's this weird glitch happening right here, and the square just keeps popping back and forth. Uh, they'll probably get that fixed sometime soon. But right now I have Strike Racy in my uh, commander slot, and he doesn't have anything to do with any good uh, anti-material charge abilities. Everyone just loves Strike AC. No one wants to use Bloodfinder AC or any other variation. They want Strike AC. So that's why I have him as my commander. And I do use Seismic Smash a little bit, but not very often. Uh, then for my team perk, I have Long Arm of the Law, which is very good and it increases the range by one tile for anti-material charge. And eventually I can probably find something better right here. For each hero with three or more stars, recover shield equal to 25% energy lost. That won't help me too much. That's for recovering shield. Shake it off, no. But eventually, as I get more mythics, I'll probably find something that will help quite a bit. But Long Arm of the Law is what I'm going to use for now. Uh, Kinetic Punch is one from Valkyrie Rio, and it increases the impact of AMC by 245% and adds knockback to it, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you were wanting to do this even more from Valkyrie Rio, what you could do is keep her as your commander, and you would have 600% impact, which is absolutely crazy. So you can do that if you want, but everyone just loves Strike Racy. Look at him. He has all the money signs all over, the golden hat, the golden glove. He's just a great hero, and I really don't want to use anything up, anyone else but him. Um, I've seen the Pathfinder Just build, where she has many different short AMCs, which uh, recover energy fast, but I just don't want to use her. So, Parting Gift does the fireworks, which is next, and I think it's Flash Eagle Eye that does that but it leaves behind fireworks that deal three base damage per second. Um, I'm not exactly what, sure what base damage is for right now, but I'm gonna keep it there because I use phase shift a lot. Um, as I learn more about how this hero rework works, I'll probably change her out, but I can't really think of anything else better right now. Oh. Pathfinder Jess. So, don't use Flash Eagle Eye. Use Pathfinder Jess, which increases the heavy attack efficiency for AMC by 28%. And you can use her as a commander spot too, which makes many different fast hits, but I like it how it is. So, now there's a lot less energy spent. It's still a lot, but if you want more energy, in your game, always get the uh, energy pylon in game. So that means get two blue glow and search around the map for where it has the battery. Put those two blue glow in and it'll help a lot. Um, here is phase siphon from uh, Sanguine Dusk. And whenever you phase shift, it heals you uh, a bit from each enemy passed through. So if there's a ton of husks following you from an encampment or something like that, phase through them and it'll hurt them a bit and you'll also get some health from it. 
Um, here, from Jingle Jess, I get extra Teddy duration, which is always nice. And Iron Knuckles from Bloodfinder I see, which increases the damage from AMC by 75%. So this is a very usable hero now, and I'm so glad I found this combination for him. And I'm going to keep editing it as I go through the game. But I'm very excited about this, and it just works out really well. Um, all of these heroes are pretty well known, but I would never really think they would work together so well. And Striker AC is just an amazing hero, and I hope everyone will keep using him instead of Archaeologess, just because she attacks faster. But here we can do more damage, especially with Iron Knuckles. But, um, I'll go back to the game for a quick review of him, and I'll be back from there. See you guys. So, as you will be able to see in just a second, it is a pretty decent build, and I am liking it a lot, and it feels almost exactly the same, but there are some things I'm trying to do to fix it. Um, nope. Right now, the energy cooldown is very slow, as I mentioned earlier, and um, I think it is a little bit shorter than it used to be. But if I can get the energy back up uh, a lot faster, that would be great, and it really will revive Striker C for me and many other people. So I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> 